Hey guys, welcome back to Lush Aquas. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my two feet jungle aquascape and how I got rid of a major algae issue from this aquarium using only water changes. Now the dimensions of this aquarium are two feet length, 15 inches height and 12 inches depth. And for the filtration of this aquarium, I'm using the Sunsun 603B canister filter along with the Azu Skim 250 surface skimmer. For the lighting of this aquarium, I'm using the Chihiro's RGB 45 light, which is a 37 watt light along with uh, CO2 add to bubbles per second as well. Now this aquascape will be considered as a high-tech aquascape in the planet tank hobby and I also know a lot of beginner planet tank hobbyists watching this video as well just can't wait to set up their first uh, high-tech planted tank. It becomes sort of a dream to go ahead and either set up your first uh, high-tech planted tank or convert your low-tech aquascape into a high-tech aquascape by adding CO2 injection or using a high output light or even using some good quality fertilizers. One of the major misconceptions beginner hobbyists have while setting up a high-tech aquascape is that a high-tech aquascape requires lesser maintenance than a low-tech aquascape. Now let's look at what is the major difference between a high-tech aquascape and a low-tech aquascape. Basically the only difference between these two are the introduction of CO2 or dosing of CO2 into a high-tech aquarium because both high-tech and low-tech aquascapes uh, need light and fertilization. So you would have to uh, have a source of light and some fertilization for both the tanks the only difference is you add co2 to a high-tech aquarium now uh, this misconception that it is lower maintenance is completely false in my opinion the high-tech aquascape requires much scheduled maintenance it requires much more discipline and maintenance because if you skip your maintenance things can spiral out of control and this is exactly what happened with the tank in front of you so a few weeks ago I had slacked on the maintenance of this aquarium I had not done a water change in a while and it had already started getting some green algae uh, I chose to ignore that now to be honest I should have done the maintenance at that time itself done a major water change and gotten rid of that algae at that time itself to not let it spiral so out of hand uh, but I chose to ignore that at that time and I just waited it out and before I knew it the entire tank was fully green with this algae I also started getting some blackbeard algae on the wood itself and on the rocks because my CO2 had switched off as well so all the problems happened together itself now I had already decided that I wasn't going to use any chemicals to get rid of the algae in this aquarium like Flourish Excel or Phytocarb. I was only going to use water changes to get rid of this algae. So I started off by manually removing all the green hair algae from the plants. And next I moved on to cutting off all the leaves of the plants that had been affected by the BBA. Now the same procedure I did uh, with the driftwood and the rocks. Now when you are scratching off the BBA from the driftwood, it will be a little easy but you got to be careful that you don't make deep scratches that make your driftwood look ugly. And on the rocks, it will be a little more difficult to remove the BBA so you got to be careful with that. Now I could have used uh, H2O2 to remove this BBA and I have made a video on how to remove BBA using uh, hydrogen peroxide and I will share the link in the description below. You can watch that if you want to learn that method as well. But but I manually removed all uh, the BBA from the wood and the rocks as well. After scraping majority of the blackbird algae from the driftwood and the rocks, I did a 75% water change and also restarted my CO2 at 2 bubbles per second. Within a week, as you can see, most of the green hair algae had died back and the tank started looking beautiful again. I also had rearranged the moss to how I like it. Now, during this week, I continued doing a 50% water change every alternate day and this is the result of it. After another week of doing alternate day water changes, this is how it looked and uh, most of the algae issues had been solved. Uh, a little uh, blackbeard algae on the driftwood, so I continued doing my water changes. And finally, after four weeks of continuous water changes, most of the algae issues in this aquascape have been solved. Even the blackbeard algae on the driftwood has died back a little left, but that will die back in a few days as well. Pretty happy with how this turned out. We managed to remove all the algae from this aquarium without a single chemical, only using water changes. I know the process was a little lengthy and it did take four weeks, but it was totally worth it. 
Now my final advice to any hobbyist who wants to go for a high tech planet tank would obviously be uh, don't slack on your maintenance your weekly maintenance is really important you should get your weekly water change done to avoid any problems but this is also a method you can use in case you get into any uh, algae issues but that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you really enjoyed this video if you have any queries regarding this video don't forget to write it down in the comments section below also don't forget to subscribe to lush aqua and click on the bell icon so you're updated with all our latest videos i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care